Hey guys, how you doing? Well, it's afternoon sometime. I'm not sure what time it is, but we're out for our exercise earlier because Matthew starts work earlier tonight. So yeah, just out and about doing our exercise. Um, getting back into it. I also got to start getting back and doing more also when I'm at home on the uh, treadmill. But uh, yeah, in case there's a guy up there playing golf, might just go this way. Go through. Yeah. Matthew behind me there. Yeah, he's playing golf. You better hope the cops don't come, otherwise you'll get fined. Which is stupid, I reckon. It's not like this is a very crowded golf course anyway. It's not like they can lock it up because it's so open. The, uh, they'd have to put up all these, build fences and that, and I don't think they want to spend money on that. But it's ridiculous because golf, for some people, is their way of winding down and relaxing and it's their exercise, you know, and it helps them mentally, you know, just like coming out here, walking, that is helping me mentally. But I don't know, it's not like... This golf course is ever crowded. You know, the most you see at once is about 10 people on the whole golf course, and they're not even uh, to get playing together in a group, they're playing by themselves separately. So, oh, I don't know. I know some golf clubs. I've put restrictions on and certain people are allowed to come and like members and that but this is a free golf course where anyone can come and play so and as I said it's open like they'd have to build fences to uh, stop people getting in and they'd have to be they wouldn't be able to be those temporary ones that you see around building sites and that no people easily get through those but yeah I don't see anything wrong with them being able to come out and play golf if they want to hello so you just have to walk past and it's talking to me are talking to me and I'm not even using them. It's got the crap out of me before. I think the batteries might be going in it. Usually things do that by themselves when the batteries are getting low. Get the crap out of me. Say goodbye to me before as well. It's ready. Now saying it's ready, I'm not even standing on something. It's ready for you. It's in the box. Goodbye. And it says goodbye again. Hey guys, how you doing? You started cleaning, I've got the Inky Quill Scrap Stream going there, so I'm just mostly listening to it, not really watching, just listening. But uh, cleaning, I clear all this up. Actually this, completely clear off that desk and empty it because I'm getting rid of it. Um, the recliner will be going out, we'll try and get it out into the spare room 
the front room there because this is just too heavy and too hard to move in there so we're going to leave this here but we're getting another couch so we're going to put it here and then eventually once all this lockdown shit's all over um this is going to a friend by the works so we're going to do that clear that clear all this stuff up Matthew said I'm going to clear it all up and heal back to him um or if I can be bubbled later I'll vacuum so clear this up and all this area up and move some things um so that later tonight when Matthew gets home from work we'll um move this out but I should be able to end the desk out I've just got to clear it all up and take this table down and get it all sorted out Okay guys, so here's where I'm at at the moment, so stuff over here, I moved the recliner forward, I just chucked everything on the floor here, I'll go through them, that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the day, um, and that, do that, the desk is outside, so now I've just got to go through all this stuff that was on the desk and inside the drawers of the desk. Then I'll sort this thing out because that will get moved back here. Um, the recliner will come back a bit more as well, but I just need the space so I can seal down, go through stuff. I've got this bag's rubbish, this bag is op shop. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm watching, still watching YouTube, scrap stream ended. Um, so I'm just watching random videos at the moment, just letting it keep it on plane. I'm going to finish my chocolate milk there. I wasn't going to bother emptying a um, cup, there wasn't much left in the bottle, so I just put the milk in the bottle and shook it up. Um, so that's where I'm at. Clear this. Um, we'll have to move things from over there and that I will have to move so that they can get the couch in tomorrow. And then deal with all this stuff as well. But once I clear, I clear all this stuff, Matthew said tomorrow morning when he gets up, he'll vacuum. Um, I'll see how I'm feeling and how long it takes me to do all this as to whether I get the vacuuming done. But I've still got to sweep a bit more because there's so much crap and cat hair on it. If you've got a uh, rubber broom like that, it's great on carpet. It's a great investment. So if you've got carpet, I recommend getting a rubber broom because it really helps before you vacuum. This is where I'm up to at the moment, guys. I need to take a break because I actually feel a little dizzy. And for me in the past when I've felt dizzy, it hasn't been a good thing. So I'm going to sit down and rest for a bit and hopefully I get this all done, finished a bit later. Okay, so here's where we're at. It's uh, nearly 10 at night. I just got all this stuff here, I've just chucked over there at a pile. It's just going to stay there because it's out of the way. Um, because your couch is going to go here anyway, so that doesn't matter. Um, I do have to move, still like a couple of things there. Other stuff I do have to move. Um, but yeah, Matthew finishes work in about an hour, so he'll be home in about an hour and a half-ish, a bit longer. Um, and we're going to move the recliner into the front room, try and get it in there through, through the door here and then around that corner there <laughs> into the... Hang I'll show you. Start, but I'll show you. So around this corner here into there so if we can get it past there because I can't move that shelf um it's too heavy I'm not taking everything off and putting it back on plus there really isn't room around the corner because I've got heaps of stuff around there but definitely some stuff here like there are stuff that I've moved the trolley in here so um being procrastinating I've, I haven't really got done what I wanted to in there but yeah, there's things happening. Um, so 
so we should hopefully be able to get the recliner around because these these are about the same width they're all the same width as the front door we got in the front door so Matthew's just got to move his bowling balls and that we should be able to get it into there so just got it there this thing here was here so I've moved it over there moved some things stuff on the bed new stuff over and that yeah this stupid friggin virus thing and all these lockdowns and shutdowns means we can't get rid of the sofa bed because the people would get giving and selling it to because the restrictions it's not a necessary trip and they could get fined 1600 bucks each so yeah not good so we have to wait for all these friggin restrictions to be lifted so yeah Hopefully we get things in there and then we'll get this sort of cleared as well. I just really wanted to put those drawers in there, but I don't even think we're going to have room in there once we get the recliner in there. Because so, it's a deep, big recliner, decent sized recliner. Um, but the new couch we're getting, it's like a two and a half seater. But... Um, It's also recliner, so two recliners as well. And then eventually this is sofa bed is what we're going to get rid of. But, and then once that's gone, then we'll probably, the recli this recliner will probably come back here and the other one moved there. I don't know yet. Or we might just leave the big one here. Put the little one there, might be better. Because then we'll have room. We can start you. Because we were trying to sell this coffee table, but you know, no luck. So just leave it there. Because originally the desk that was here, we were going to put over there for the cat. But you know, I'd rather keep the coffee table because it's still a really good one. And um, all that, and then just use that storage in there. Um, we've got another unit in the hallway. We've had it for about two years. We haven't put it together, but it will go along here um, for storage as well. Um, this little table, not sure yet. It might just, once we move all this back, it'll go next to that. I don't know if you heard that on the roof. There's a possum or something on the roof. Um, so yeah, I mean this stuff will go sort of go in the craft room. That's just my market stuff. See, so, yeah, and I'm still unsure about the market as well. Um, sorry about that. I had to turn you around. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure about the market whether I'm going to be doing that or not at, um, later in the year. So I may just end up selling things online and posting them out. It's more of a cost, but. You know, if I can make a little bit of money from it, that'd be good. But otherwise, I, I don't know. Um, so I'll get that done, but I'll do some more cleaning and moving some things. But yeah, I just, I hate it. I really hate it. I hate this freaking virus. It's just wrecking the world. But what can we do? Yeah, so that's it. I'm going to just clear up a few things. Um, and yeah, just wait for Matthew to come home. Um, I'll let him eat first. I cooked some chicken drumsticks. I didn't cook anything else. I didn't feel like anything else. And I don't know if he wants anything else, but he doesn't really eat a lot when he gets home anyway. So he might just eat the drumsticks and that'll be it. Uh, what else? I can't think of what else. But yeah. Just gonna plot along and get things done and we just have to wait out this virus, wait out and see what happens. Um, things are getting back to normal 
kind of in the supermarkets. People are listening away that way. They're not bulk buying certain things and will hoard in them. Um, we wanted to make sure we had plenty of things just in case it did start up again. So we did buy extra toilet paper. Um, we've got enough for the rest of the year, so we don't need any more of that. I mean, tissues we've got plenty of, of. Even so, most of the time, if I need to blow my nose, it's usually, I, if I can hold on to it, I'll hold on to it, and then I just blow it when I go to the toilet and just use toilet paper. <laughs> At least I can flush it. Um, but it's also times like these when I miss having the wood fire. I remember when I was younger, we had the wood fire. My sister still lives in the same house, so she still has it. So, so many things I could just chuck in the, and burn. Um, and that, so, it's just so much easier. But, you know, as the times are in at the moment, I just gotta sort things out. But yeah, just wait and see. Hope all you guys are well and staying safe and that you are, you know, are coping with all this isolation and lockdown and, and that's so, oh, there's a light. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go now. Um, in this video here so thanks for watching everyone give the video a thumbs up if you liked it um, subscribe press the bell notification and make sure you click when you do press the bell notification for when I upload make sure you um, press that gives you options so make sure you press all so you get every video um, so yeah I'll see you next time bye